Good morning. Friday, January 12th, 20, 24. Best Baseball Player of the Year, 1979. We're finishing the 70s. We, we started this marathon, 1871. And this video covers the best baseball player in 1979. That, does that mean I've done 108 videos to this point? And our goal is to get to 2023. So let's look at 1979, who was the best baseball player. Interesting year. Not one person, but four guys tied with two categories each. I got to give it to all four guys. Not one, one person stood out as far as dominating. Four guys tied with two categories out of the 13 that I have, offensive categories. Fred Lynn, Keith Hernandez, George Brett, Don Baylor. Only one of the guys is in the Hall of Fame, George Brett. Fred Lynn, where did he win? Let's look at it. Fred Lynn had the slugging percentage, 636, and the on-base, 423. Two categories. Keith Hernandez, batting title, 344, and the most doubles, 48. Two categories. George Brett, Most hits, 212, and the most triples, 20. Two categories. And then Don Baylor runs batted in, 139, and runs scored 120. So who do you pick? You pick the guy with a batting title, but then he just has doubles. You pick the guy with the most hits, well, then he has the most triples. Do you pick the guy with the slugging and on base? Or do you pick the guy with the runs batted in and runs scored? I'm giving it to all four guys. Let's look at their years. Let's look, let's look at them each individually, okay? 1979. Fred Lynn. You know, this is the second time for Fred Lynn. Because I got him winning 1975 and he tied... With five other guys in that in that year. So two wins for Fred Lynn. Way to go. Fred Lynn, 1979, 147 games, 531 at bats. He has, a, he has 122 RBIs. Very good. 39 homers. But he doesn't win either of those categories. Because Dave Kingman had 48 homers. And the runs batted in. Don Baylor had more. 139 for Baylor. Very good. So Fred Lynn gets the uh, on base and the slugging. Okay. He batted 330. Let's see. 1979. 333. Very good. But he didn't win the batting title. That went to Keith Hernandez. Okay, so that's Fred Lynn. Keith Hernandez, let's look at his year, 1979. Played every day, just about, 161 games. 210 hits, I like that. Lynn, Lynn only had 177. So I like a guy that gets 200 hits in a season. So he has the most doubles, Keith Hernandez, and he has the highest batting average for the year, 344. He doesn't make the Hall of Fame. He had 2,000 career hits, 2,100 career hits. His career average was 296. Played 2,000 games. He stopped playing at 36. Should have kept going. Keith Hernandez should have kept going until he was 40. That way he would have about 2,500 hits. Anyway, he had a over 300 batting average, but he stopped. So as a result, 296 career. 
George Brett, now he made the Hall of Fame. 1979, 154 games, 212 hits. That's more than Hernandez. And he bats 329, but Hernandez, 344. Brett has the most hits, and he has the most triples. 20 triples. George Brett made the Hall of Fame 3,154 hits because he played until he was 40. See, Hernandez stopped at 36. Brett kept going, and he got to 3,000 hits, and he's 305 career. I like George Brett. 5,000 total bases. See, Hernandez played about, what, how many did he play? 2,000 games, where Brett... 2,700, see, a difference. And that's how he got to 3,000 career hits. And the last guy, Don Baylor, not in the Hall of Fame, but how do you do for 1979? Played every day. Just 186 hits, he batted 296. But he has the most runs, 120. And the most RBIs, 139. Who do you think of the four had the best year? Maybe Keith Hernandez with the 344 average and the 210 hits. But you got Brett with 212. But you got Baylor with the run scored and the RBIs. Fred Lynn. I don't know about Fred Lynn here. Let's see. 1979. Batted 333. That was pretty good. But he had the on base and the slugging. I think for the year, I would go with Keith Hernandez, George Brett, Don Baylor, and then Fred Lynn. But I'm going to give it to all four of them as being the best baseball player for that year. And we're done with 1979. Next video, we will get into the 80s. This is going to be an interesting year, or interesting decade. You got some Hall of Famers that come up in this decade, start playing ball. Okay, we're done with the 70s, 1980s, next video. Thanks for watching. I'm out.